guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to create a transparent header using Elementor. Now, this is for those that want to create their own customized header. And in order for you to do that, you have to make sure that you have number one, Elementor installed and Elementor Pro installed and another very nifty uh, plugin called Sticky Header Effects for Elementor. You can easily find it, you don't have to remember the whole name, by just going into the um, directory and typing in Elementor and then somewhere down the list, where are we? Here we go, you, you will find it and you could just activate it and install it on your computer. Now, currently I am using Generate Press for my theme, but you could use any theme, Astra, Ocean, whatever you wanna use, this should work regardless, okay? So the first thing you want to do is head over to Elementor, click on My Templates, add a new template, and we're going to add a header called Transparent. Let's create this header. And I'm not gonna use the pre-made ones. I'm gonna create my own because I am extra like that. Okay, I'm gonna use a heading and I'm gonna say, this is my logo. I'm gonna link this to my homepage. And over here, I'm going to have my menu. And yeah, that's it. That's how I'm gonna have it. So let's align that to the right. So this is what we have so far. If I press publish, and I click here where it says add condition. I want this header to show for the whole of my site, so I'm gonna press publish. Now, if we go back to the home page and we refresh it, this is what we have. This is not transparent, this is not okay, this is not what we want. We want this to basically be hovering over the top of this black piece here. So what we do is we'll go back and we are going to select the section, okay? We're gonna click on the advanced tab and click here where it says scrolling effect. Make this sticky. Click here where it says sticky header effects. Enable it, scroll down a little bit and we're gonna choose this option here that says transparent header. We're gonna click on update and if we go back over here and we refresh, we now have our transparent header. But look, it's got this Oh, it just doesn't look really how I want it. I kind of want the fonts, I want everything to be white, yeah? Let's just make everything white. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna change my logo to white. I'm gonna change my menu to white. Let's update that and let's go back here and refresh. Bam, that looks good. But now it's kind of it doesn't really, i can't really see it when it goes throughout the rest of the site like look here where the is the rest of my stuff where is it oh there it is okay so we need to basically put like a dark background so then whatever we have here pops out so let's go back to the section go to the advanced tab sticky header effects and we could choose a custom background color. So I can click here where it says custom background, move this down and update it. Let's refresh. And now as we scroll down, it changes to black. But say if, say if I don't want my background to be white. Say if I say, I've said this all wrong. Say if I want my background to be white instead of black. Let's have a look. If I click that to white and I update it, when I refresh, we can't see any of the elements here. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how you can make these elements be seen. First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on each widget and I'm gonna give it a class the class of Roblox. I'm gonna click on the menu widget, go to advance, and where it says CSS classes, I'm going to click on Roblox. Now, the really good thing about how this is all laid out is that there is a particular class that gets added to the header when it's just a transparent header, like what you see here. But then when it scrolls, another class gets added automatically 
to the background to, to bring in the background as a white background. So it adds another class and then it adds a bunch of rules for that class. So then you can make whatever changes you need to. And that class is called She Header. I don't know why they called it She Header, but whatever. <laughs> That's what they called it. So what, what, what we're gonna do is, we've already got a white background, so we don't have to change that. But what I do wanna change is my logo. So I do want my logo to be white when it's basic, but then when I scroll down, I want it to be black, okay? So what we can do here, we've, got, we've changed this to classes, it's now uh, Roblox and it's a H2 tag. If I click back into the section, click on the advanced tab, go to custom CSS and I put in the, the class that gets added, which is she header, oops, she header. That is a class gets at, that's the class that gets added to the bar when it gets sticky. Remember that. And we have got Roblox, so we want to do another dot. The dot is for our class, Roblox, and we want to hit all H2s. So this is basically saying when the header goes to sticky, and I want you to look for this Roblox uh, tag. And I want you to look for everything that is Roblox and has got H2 in it. And I want you to change the color to black. Let's update that. Let's go back over to here, scroll up, fresh, and scroll up. What the muck? Okay, so it didn't help. What we can do then is we can just easily add an important tag just to force it, update it refresh again when we scroll down there we go it changes to black we could do exactly the same thing with this over here so we can add a comma and instead of me typing all of that out again I can just put she had a Roblox li space a so that's all list items this is a list which have a link in it, and that's the A, color important. Let's update that, come back here, refresh, and now you see it. And that is how you make a transparent header using Elementor. Thank you very much for listening. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side.